Okay, prank time. Let's go. So, um, when last was anyone here on this team on a long haul holiday bus route? This is not zipping around town. Right. Mm -hmm. This is you going on a, you you crossing provinces. You're going from Western Cape to Eastern Cape. You're going to Gauteng. My uh, last bus trip was from Cape Town to Beaufort. Um, how yeah, long did that take? It was a bumpy ride. It was too long, hey. I was like, nah, fam. The bus, it, it's too much. And you need to, you do all of these stops, and they uh, are, you know, older people and children, and then you're getting snacks. Yeah. And it's not, you're not moving on your time. Mm. You're moving on everyone else's time. There's uh, the long, uh, I've done uh, Joburg to Plett, uh -huh. yeah. which felt like forever. Mm hmm. Um, but that's not the longest bus ride I've done. I did a bus ride when I was in Australia from a town called Innisfail, mm -hmm. where I worked, to Brisbane. Mm. That bus trip was one day and 11 hours. Oh my word. 35-hour oh bus trip. You're still in the same state. That does not sound okay. No, it was it was horrific. How was the leg room? Ach, it's like a plane, but it's but it was it was horrific. That's a hell of yeah. a long time to be sitting in one place. So I'm I'm not going to complain about my Western Cape Eastern Cape bus ride, which is like twelve to fifteen hours. When last did you do that? That was when I started living in Cape Town when I was started working, and I also had a boyfriend who lived in Port Alfred. Uh -huh. So I take the bus from Cape Town to Grahamstown, and then he'd have to drive from Port Alfred to Gramstown oh, <laughs> to come and pick me up and then we'd go to Port Alfred. The things we do for love, hey! hey? Where is that man now? <laughs> and, Bra and, and Brad, you went... <laughs> where? I was going to say, was that for love or... You know, I was on that a was a long-ass booty call there. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't for love, that was for the magic stick. He I'm knew what he was waiting. He knew the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow <laughs> there. I was on a stinky city-to-city -city <laughs> bus for that man. Where is he now? <laughs> and Yo. did you did you did you shower before you? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> or was it straight off the bus and how's your father? <laughs> bus rides are brutal, hey? Uh, she just yeah. slides <laughs> sideways there. Brad, you went New York to Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Oh my god. Twenty eight hours. Hey. No, it was horrific, yeah. Yeah, it was horrific. This, this, this is just like weird smells. Yeah. You can't really articulate what they are, but you mm -hmm. know they're not. They shouldn't be. They there. shouldn't yeah. be there. Yeah. They shouldn't be there. And like so cheese and onion chips. It's yeah. a, it's a mix between um, KFC mm -hmm. or McDonald's and um, feet. Yeah. <laughs> what a combo. But also mouths and 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 yeah. people's. Um, takeaways and, and that drift from the back oh. yeah it's That's a lot the it's a lot. Yeah. but that bus ticket price hey uh, well yeah. look, <laughs> let me tell you 550 to get you now uh -huh. from east london to joburg, to joburg. 550 Not a bad deal at all. Mm -hmm. i'll tell you this we were in portugal and we from lisbon to the algarve we caught mm. the train mm. and then going back to lisbon we caught the bus mm. the bus was better than the train mm. yeah it was much better. It was actually quicker too. Mm. Okay, so this is what's happening. This guy, he's gone and booked his wife and uh, his two kids on the bus. For um, They're going from East London to Johannesburg. Sure. That's a 13-hour, 45-minute bus ride. And as you know, we're at a time in South Africa where all our uh, government institutions mm -hmm. are failing. So all of this is very believable. And sometimes... The private sector has to pick up where the government fails. Mm -hmm. And that's the case happening here. So they're about to catch this bus. Mm. East London to Joburg. I call the wife. She's getting on the bus with the two kids. Okay. But I call the wife and then the husband happens to be there. So we get two for one here. Hello. Dillian. That's correct. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm calling you from Translux. Yes. Uh, regarding your the, the bus trip tomorrow at uh, 4.45. That's correct, yes. Yes. Um, you'll be departing from East London, the windmill, to Johannesburg. Correct. Okay, ma'am, the purpose of this call is to say that everything is still in order with the bus trip. 
Okay. I have a legal obligation to inform you that the bus, there will be some convicted felons traveling on the bus. In fact, the bus will be 75% with convicted felons. You have to be joking. You see what happens is when the prisons get full in East London, then they get transported up to Johannesburg. Okay. I'm... Um, no. I, um, there's no way. I can't put my kids on a bus with them. They are only level two and uh, level four offenders. Okay, what's level two and level four? Level two is, is like uh, shoplifting. If you get there early tomorrow, mm. you can get preferred seating, which, uh, you know, you can, you, you won't be around a level two or a level four offender. Okay, what did you say the level four offenders Oof. are? Matter, but not mass matter. <laughs> <sighs> you are asking me to do something there's no way of. We can't do. Because there's there's l- l- only be one level eight prisoner, but he's at the back of the bus in the cage. Yeah. But you don't understand. It's a 14-hour trip, and there's no way that I'm taking my kids on a 14-hour trip with all of those people in there. There's no way. George? Yeah? Okay, this okay. gentleman is telling me that he's from Translax, and he's telling me that tomorrow they are going to have a 75% bus full of um, level two and level four prisoners. No, then I'm, and I'm telling him that he can take my ticket and he can cancel it because there's no way I'm putting our kids on that bus. No worries, man. How can I do that anyway? Just sort of happens at the no, last minute. No, I can't let my family climb on there. It's going to be 75% uh, of the bus. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm f- I'm not letting my family get on there. It's not going to work. Um, uh, I don't know what other alternative you can get there. You know, I don't know what other buses are going up, but I mean, we've booked with you. But I mean, it's a totally unethical for you to put my family with 75% of prisoners. Yeah, you don't ever choose the bus. You take the bus when you don't have a choice. Listen, you don't tell me you're putting prisoners on the bus. George, there's no way. Just go down no, to the no. officers. Sir, can in I just... <laughs> no, no, listen, don't even come with that, man. You can't expect my family to go with a bunch of criminals. Sir, wh- you, cannot, you cannot come with that <laughs> nonsense with me. You can't put my family with prisoners and Sir, wh- that's bullshit. Who's your boss, man? Who's, who's the manager? Who's the, who's the top guy? I'm telling you what this is. Say, I am... You're not listening to me at the moment. I... I'm telling you now, if you don't give me back the money, then I'll come down and visit you. Come and have a look, by all means, at our beautiful offices, how we've rebranded, we've changed our slogan now. Now it's called Translux. What's that smell? <laughs> I He's... don't care about that. My daughter, my wife, my son is on that bus. He... I don't care about that. Listen to me. And don't worry, the guy that's killed 12 people, he's in the cage at the back, so it's fine. Listen, I don't care about that guy. Do me a favor. Don't even negotiate. You just go down there and you just don't get our money back. Someone's pulling my leg here, man. This is a joke. No, it's some mm-hmm. f- wacky Simpson or some. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've not been on f- radio. <laughs> Come on, you all I'm up, glad you all knew it. <laughs> it. Yes, it is, George. <laughs> no, some blocks him, yeah. Listen, I no, no, just sounded too this much like someone wanted to f- me off, and the only one I can f- me off like that could only be Wicked Simpson. <laughs> um, come on, f- crap. Can I have a beer with me sometime? Stop phoning me for. F- <laughs> <laughs> but that's plausible. I'm telling you, oh, they, they, yeah. they transport. Prisoners all over the country. Yeah, yeah. especially the low-level ones. I mean, a little shoplifting here and there. Yeah, yeah little. You can mm. come on the bus with us. Yeah, <laughs> little. <laughs> this little bit of that, yeah, you know. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey? Would you? The oak with a cage in the back. Yeah, the that, cage that. killed twelve people. It's like Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's, that's, yeah. that's exactly what I thought of. Yeah, seen this movie before. <laughs> the oak has got a muzzle on his yeah. face. <laughs> Then the bus breaks down somewhere on the M2. Oh, yeah. And the movie begins. Yeah. <laughs> Happy holidays. Safe travels. KFM.